Okay, now we move on to examples 9 and 10, and again we've got uh, a major arpeggio and a minor arpeggio, so I'm going to do them together and show you them together. Okay, this is very, very tricky, but I use this kind of thing a lot when I'm creating patterns and you know, finding ways of sort of traversing the fretboard, but it's well worth persevering with this particular arpeggio. So let me show you exactly what's happening. It's an E major arpeggio and we're going to do it across how many octaves? Three octaves here. So it's from fret 12 all the way up to fret 24. Okay, don't worry if you don't have 24 frets, you can just play a note which is diatonic to the key, um, you know, on the, on the last fret or, you know, it's very easy to do. So you don't exactly have to have 24 frets to do this, 22 is absolutely fine. So let me show you exactly what I'm doing. Uh, so we're gonna start here at fret 12, bot me, and we're gonna play with a downstroke. Then with the second finger, we're gonna play middle finger. Then the third degree, we're gonna play here with a downstroke. So we're gonna alternate down, middle, down, middle, down, okay? And here we've got to shift up to fret 19 of the A. And then we're going to pull off to fret 14 of the A. Okay, then it's 18 of the D, middle finger, then down, uh, 16 of the G with a middle finger, 18 of the D, down. Then we've got 17 of the, the B string, middle finger, down on 16 of the G, so. Okay, now we're gonna shift positions and play 21 on the B string with a little finger, middle finger with the right hand, and pull off to 17. Okay, then we're gonna shift and play 19 of the top E with a middle finger, then down on 21 of the B, and then play the high E. If you've only got 22 frets, you can just play this note here at um, fret 21, okay? Okay. And then we're gonna pull off and then hammer on again. And descend with exactly the same patterns apart from here. We're going to play them, we're going to swap them here at fret 21. Down, middle, down, middle, down to fret 16 of the G. And then we're going to hammer on to 21. So it's, then it's down, middle on fret um, 18 and 16 of the D and G respectively. Okay. And that is 19 and 18 of the A and D. 14 and 19 of the A, pick and hammer. So we've got. Okay, and then we're back. So that final part is 16 and 14 of the E and A strings. Okay. Good, let me show you the minor version of this now. So we just literally flatten the thirds, but we're gonna play the pattern slightly differently. We're gonna go 12, 14, so again it's P, uh, down, middle. So we're just gonna change the major third to a minor third. Ascend through the minor arpeggio. I'll do that nice and slowly again. And then we can just descend in the same way as the major. Uh, once we pick this one, it's a pull off. If you've only got 22 frets, just play 22. Okay, so. 
down, middle, down, middle, down, hammer, down, whoops, that's the major version, minor third. Okay, once more, nice and slowly. Okay, good, that was examples nine and 10.